they have been constantly pushing an agenda that maintains that status quo, right? And that status quo is not fair. They've been shying away from signing and ratifying the Nile Basin Cooperative Framework of Agreement, which actually has a principle of uh, equitable share to each member of the Nile Basin countries. They are fighting this fight on all fronts. So there is the diplomatic, uh, the diplomatic route, the international route, the national route, the proxy wars, all of those things. And I feel like them coming back to the tripartite discussion is um, a show of their other strategies not having the impact that they expected. It always goes back to their historical benefits and uh, what they call as their historical rights. So for millennia, they have been used to using the lion's share of the water. They have, they have had this uncontested monopoly throughout history. Um, their colonizers, their protectorates, and basically the whole of the world has been aiding in ensuring that this historical right of Egypt was protected uh, until now. So it all goes back to making sure that the hegemony and the uncontested benefit they had over the Nile persists now, and there is clear danger for that. No country in the world would actually have a history of sharing the details of its unilateral project eh, to other countries who definitely have some stakes and who definitely will be standing against it. We did that. Well, I understand that the empowerment of GERD within a very short period of time would definitely um, affect insignificantly, of course, the water shares of the Egypt, the Egypt and the, the Egyptian government, but it is not as such a very serious and significant impact that it would uh, impart on the uses of the, the water by Egypt and Sudan. The benefits are, I think, much 1,100 folds than the, the side effects. The problem is now that we're dealing with a, a country which is basically used to having the whole of the pie or the whole of the cake. So any kind of sharing feels like injustice for them. Any kind of loss in the water is going to be significant loss to them. So uh, the way I see it, uh, there is no convoluted issue here. It, it all goes back to Egypt not wanting to lose its historical hegemony, its historical unjustified benefits and uh, share of the Nile waters.